What's going on YouTube? It's Unger to the Max here. A salute to you. And this is actually the team I got that line from. The Columbus Blue Jackets. And it's perfect that I'm wearing a Blue Jacket hat today. Because I've decided I want to make this video more hockey based. And just in general, I want to try and make more Columbus Blue Jackets videos. Because... I know I've made a lot of videos about stuff in the NBA and stuff in the NFL. I don't really do MLB videos, and I don't really plan on doing that, although I might touch on it occasionally. Um, and I know I do a lot of videos about the UFC, but I haven't really seen many channels talk about the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, I feel like... I need to fill that niche, that void, if you will. So, I'm not going to become a total Columbus Blue Jackets videos. No, I'm still keeping my usual blend of, you know, giving my thoughts on various topics and talking UFC and give, doing Cleveland Browns videos and doing Cavaliers stuff. Don't worry. But, I am going to try and bring in more Columbus Blue Jackets videos because... They are Ohio's NHL team. Cleveland has the AHL affiliate of the, Mo of the Blue Jackets, the Cleveland Monsters, but Cleveland doesn't have an NHL team. I have mixed feelings about that because, you know, if Cleveland were to get an NHL team, I think it would be a, create a good rivalry between the Blue Jackets and whatever the Cleveland NHL team would be called. But, at the same time, I don't think cities like Pittsburgh, Detroit, Chicago, or Columbus would be happy about it because Cleveland fans don't have an NHL team. Although, for me, I would qualify the Blue Jackets. But you get what I mean. So you have Cleveland fans going to see Penguins games. You have Cleveland fans going to Red Wings games. You have Cleveland fans who go to see the Blackhawks, Cleveland fans who go to Columbus to see the Blue Jackets. Um, actually, I was hoping to go to the uh, Washington Capitals-Pittsburgh Penguins game on March 7th with some friends of mine and our dads, but unfortunately, tickets are just way too expensive. I think a single game ticket was at least $100 each. And as much as I love hockey, sorry, I'm not doing that. There's more than one game that I could go to for, for the Penguins. Anyway, so for this video, I want to talk about um, schedules. So, let me read you what I wrote. In the NBA and NHL, every team in the league plays each other at least twice. You obviously can't do that in the NFL because that would make the season too long. That can't be done in the MLB because the season is already 162 games. When I say that in MLB, I mean playing all of the teams. I understand that in Major League Baseball, all the American League teams play each other at least twice and every team in the National League plays each other at least twice. But not every team in the American League plays every team in the National League. However, in the NBA and NHL, there are situations where a team will play a back-to-back -back games against two different opponents. Like the Cavaliers, who had a back-to-back -back coming up on Monday and Tuesday. On Monday, this was from last week. On Monday, they were at Detroit, and Tuesday, they were home against the Pelicans. The next back, um, oh, sorry, the next back-to-back -back that the Columbus Blue Jackets have is on February 1st, when they are at the Buffalo Sabres, and then on February 2nd, Super Bowl Sunday, they're at the Montreal Canadiens. But if you look at the AHL, which is the American Hockey League, and the farm system for the NHL, they do back-to-backs against the same teams. For example, 
I was at the Cleveland Monsters game last Friday against the Toronto Marlies. And then on Saturday, they played the Toronto Marlies again. So why does the AHL set up their schedule that way, where two teams will play each other in back-to-back days? Also, why does every doesn't, I should say, why doesn't every team in the AHL play each other like in the NBA or NHL? And my former teacher, Mr. Ising, shout out to you, said that the AHL doesn't have the same budget to travel like the NHL or NBA. AHL can save money by playing two games when you're in a city so you don't have to travel there twice. But then I responded, except that's not true because the Charlotte Checkers, affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes, have come to Cleveland on two separate occasions and both times the two teams play each other in back-to-back games. Can you explain that one? And in response, he said, that's four games that the Checkers are playing in Cleveland. They cut four potential trips down to only two to save money. Now, as I said, not every team in the AHL plays each other. Let me take you through the list of teams who the Monsters have played this season. Okay? Laval Rocket, North Division, an affiliate of the Montreal Canadiens. The North Division is the division that the Monsters are in, alright? Syracuse Crunch, North Division, affiliate of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Rochester Americans, North Division, affiliate of the Buffalo Sabres. Toronto Marlies, North Division, and affiliate of, yep, you guessed it, the the Toronto Maple Leafs. Rockford Ice Hogs, Western Conference, Central Division, and affiliate of the Chicago Blackhawks. Charlotte Checkers, Atlantic Division, and affiliate of the Carolina Hurricanes. Grand Rapids Griffins, Western Conference, Central Division, and affiliate of the Detroit Red Wings. Chicago Wolves, Western Conference, Central Division, and affiliate of the Vegas Golden Knights. Belleville Senators, North Division, and affiliate of... You guessed it, the Ottawa Senators. Wilkes Bear Scranton Penguins, Atlantic Division, an affiliate of, yep, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Milwaukee Admirals, Western Conference, Central Division, an affiliate of the Nashville Predators. Binghamton Devils, North Division, an affiliate of, yep, the New Jersey Devils. Utica Comets. North Division, an affiliate of the Vancouver Canucks. Actually, the Monsters play the Utica Comets tonight and tomorrow. I will be at the game tomorrow. Lehigh Lehigh Valley Phantoms, Atlantic Division, an affiliate of the Philadelphia Flyers. Hershey Bears, Atlantic Division, an affiliate of the Washington Capitals. So, in total... The Montreal, the Monsters play the entire North Division. They play four out of the eight teams from the Atlantic Division, four out of the eight teams from the Central Division, and they don't play the Pacific Division at all. So it's just kind of interesting. Um, I get that the I get that the AHL is the farm system of the NHL. But, again, why doesn't the AHL play every team? Okay, let me rephrase that. Why don't the Monsters um, play every team in the AHL? I just think that makes sense. Um, Like I said, they don't play the Pacific Division at all. Um, Yeah, and they play four out of eight teams from the Central Division. And four out of the eight teams in the Atlantic Division. I'm not going to go through the list of who they don't play. My apologies for all the reading. But I wanted to, you know, explain all that. But moving on to the NHL. Somehow, someway, despite losing Artemi Panarin, Matt Duchesne, um, Ryan Dezingle, 
Sergei Bobrovsky, despite those four big losses, somehow, some way, the Columbus Blue Jackets are still in playoff contention. Let's see. I'm just look I'm looking at the NHL app to see where they are in the standings. Okay. Right now they are the top wild card spot. So, I believe that means that if they started um the playoffs today, I believe that means they would play the Boston Bruins. Um, although we are one point behind the New York Islanders for third place in the Metropolitan Division. And if we get into third place, we would have to play the number two seed, the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the last couple times we've had to play the Penguins in the Stanley Cup playoffs, it has not gone well. Um, gotten eliminated every time in five or six games. Now, do I consider the Penguins to be a rival? Yes, I do. However, I have respect for them. And the Stanley Cup playoffs are available to purchase on iTunes. At least the last game of the series. Um, I haven't done it yet, but... Even though the Penguins beat the Blue Jackets in the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs, I would still watch that game because it's always a great game when the Penguins and Blue Jackets play each other. It's a great rivalry, but I respect the Penguins. They do everything the right way. They they don't try and play dirty. They don't they don't do anything to irritate you. I think most teams have a rivalry with them because they're just jealous of how successful of a franchise the Penguins are. Just saying. But there are three teams in the Eastern Conference that I consider to be the true rivals of the Blue Jackets and three teams that I absolutely hate have zero respect for. You hear me? Zero. And that is the Washington Capitals. I hate them with a burning passion. So you better believe I was furious when they won the uh, Stanley Cup in 2018. The New York Rangers and the Boston Bruins. When they eliminated us in Game 6 of the second round last year, I literally cried. My dad was not happy about with me crying, but, you know, that's he- either, either, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yes, I actually cried about it. Because I think that if the Blue Jackets had made it past the Bruins, they could have beaten the Hurricanes. And made it to the Stanley Cup Final. Where. They would have come up against. My favorite Western Conference team. The St. Louis Blues. I would have had a hard time. Deciding who to root for in that series. But thankfully it didn't happen. Thankfully and not thankfully. I say it like that. Thankfully, because I would have had a really hard time deciding who to root for. But at the same time, I really wanted to see the Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Final. So, you know, it was good and bad. Let's put it like that. Um, But thankfully, the Blues won the Stanley Cup in seven games over the Boston Bruins. As evidenced by that hat, this hat. See, it says, Stanley Cup Champions, and there's the St. Louis Blues logo, 2019. Yeah, hoping some of that Missouri championship um, stuff rubs off on the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday. Again, my prediction is Chiefs 37, 49ers 31, Patrick Mahomes throws a game-winning touchdown pass to... 
Travis Kelsey in the last two minutes, and Travis Kelsey wins Super Bowl MVP. I am locking it up. Um, yeah, but again, I want to make more Columbus Blue Jackets videos. Now, I'm not abandoning the other parts of the channel. No, I'm just saying I don't, haven't really seen a channel that really discusses the Columbus Blue Jackets. I've seen general hockey channels, but not a specifically Columbus Blue Jackets channel. So, I'm going to try and fill that void and take on that niche by producing more Columbus Blue Jackets videos. And I'll discuss the Cleveland Monsters. So this was kind of the first one um, that I've done in a while. So, let me know what you think. So, until next time, this is Unger to the Max signing off with a salute to you and fire those cannons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, video, go look at a YouTube video of what happens when the Columbus Blue Jackets score a goal. Again, this is Unger to the Max signing off with a salute to you and fire those cannons.